thanks to investing. I have some select stocks that I invest in the banking sector. For infrastructural companies as well, because really you can't ignore Nigeria's infrastructure deficit. It is huge, so I think it's an opportunity. So I think for business owners and entrepreneurs, they're going to look at that sector because of the deficit, also because of the housing deficit as well. So I think infrastructure, housing, and the bank, and also the consumer stories, you can't ignore the consum consumables. The, consu the consumer stories, if you look at the PMI uh, from FBN Quest this morning, it says, says food, beverages, and tobacco is the largest segment of, of what uh, grew 2.7% year on year. That's quite, that's quite significant for, you can't be wrong. Someone said you can't be wrong with food, with beverages. I don't know about tobacco. <laughs> uh, the Surgeon General wants that smoking is dangerous to yeah, your I health. I'm quite surprised to young. see that. Uh, <laughs> Tobacco. Yeah. Uh, so this is good news. Uh, you think the Kemi the finance minister, will look at this report uh, through the spyglass and say, hold on a second, tobacco is moving. I think I'm on right uh, path by saying I need more tax on tobacco. Yes, yes, yes. So I, I think um, you're right. So there's nothing wrong in increasing the tax on tobacco. But um, I think it's positive news generally for the co country. Of course, I wouldn't say that we've arrived. We are really far from um, where we want to get to at um, 145 I think, thereabouts, it's really, really very far. So I think what the um, federal government, what they try to do is that by 2018, 2020, we can move to about under 100. So I think that will be more positive and more in line with the growth that we expect. But of course, let's celebrate the little victory that we've seen. Let's celebrate it. So speak to us about the fixed income side of, of, of the market. Do you think any of this will, uh, will flow into that, albeit that we're expecting the last MPC in three weeks' time? Okay, for the fixed income market, it's more of um, FPIs. So I think this is going to be more of FDIs. So, but what we've seen in the fixed income market, we've seen a lot of buying interest, and really yields have been on the downtrend. Um, also, I think what you have noticed is the fact that yields on the short end of the curve in the secondary market is quite attractive when you look at the primary auction. So there's an auction today, NTB auction, and of course we expect the rates to be around 13.01. But in the, if that's for the 91 days. For the 1 and 2 days, we expect a rate between... Um, 15.5% discount, while for the one year, about 15.6% discount. But for the 91 days on the secondary market, it's currently trading about 19, 20%. So for some investors, it might be more profitable to go to the secondary market rather than pitch um, at the primary auction. Even if we got the trend at the last term, NTB auction, we saw more participation at the longer end of the curve than the shorter end of the curve. So because what we've seen in recent times, the CBN has stopped issuing OMO at the long end of the curve. So they've just been issuing one to two days at a short end. So there's no more 36 days as OMO insurances. So we see a lot, we see a lot of buying interest in one year um, papers during the um, last NCB. We expect to see this one as well to be oversubscribed. Um, as well. Uh, look at the MSCI story. Uh, I'm sure that's also another positive news. Sorry, yeah. I missed that earlier. Uh, that the Nigeria will no longer be uh, removed from the MSCI frontier uh, market index. If you look at the price to earnings yeah. of our markets and the folks at United Capital are saying, well, you're doing that about 11.6 uh, multiples. Uh, the, so the Ocean index about 12.5 multiples. Yeah. You think there's still, or do you think we have a room here to still grow uh, considering that piece of news from, from Morgan Stanley? that we're staying within that index will still continue to be ranked among other uh, frontier markets? Yes, I think it's good news, but I think for some investors they've already priced it in, so I don't expect to see any major bullish run in the equity market. Um, usually the 10th and 11 months are not usually the month I see bullish run in the equity market. And my question is, that what, where is the catalyst? So for me, I don't see any major catalyst. Um, for Q2 numbers, of course, some companies pay interim dividend, so that can act, act, act as a catalyst. But Q3 numbers, traditionally, that has not really um, been a, an impetus or a catalyst for the market. So I think, yes, we're going to see steady growth, but we're not going to see any major bullish run. But if you see increased cash in circulation, wouldn't that flow into the market? Or you think Nigerians are going to say, well, uh, a Christmas 2016 was a recession Christmas or Christmas in recession. I remember that was the discussion then. This year is going to be different. You think they're going to hit the streets with this cash rather than buy more stocks or buy more treasury bills? I think the matter is disposable income has also dwindled a, a great deal. So, of course, people don't have that extra income to invest like they used to invest back in the days. So really that extra income that really you want to put in the market is not there as well. So confidence is coming up, but really we are not yet there yet. So um, I speak to a lot of investors. So for some of them, they want something that they are safe, they are sure. 
So most of them are doing things like um, fixed income, treasury bills, because you are sure what you get. This is more or less what you see is what you get. So most of them are still shy of equity. So in terms of participation in the equities market, it's been mostly foreign investors and institutionals. But you're not sure if you're getting 15 naira from Nestle? <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I know you, you don't share. You don't, you're not going to be shy. Well, I, I don't mind. Or you, get, or, you get, or you get three naira from Total. For Nestle, for me, it's not really a dividend story for me. Yes, they pay 15 naira, but Nestle's price is over 1,000. So in terms of dividend yield, they're just about 1%. Over 1%. So there are some other stores that can give me 5%, 7% return. So why do I want Nestle in my portfolio? It's going to act like a defensive stock. Mm -hmm. So it's, Nestle has been stable over time. So if I would need that stability in my portfolio, I can put in Nestle. So Nestle for me is more like a defensive stock, not a stock that I buy for um, income or... You, it's, it's a defensive stock. Yes, you, you play football? Yes. Uh, you play football. Yeah. Uh, what's your club side? Well, I support uh, Manu. Manu. Okay, that, that's a good one. Um, that's a good one. Uh, I just have a handshake. I had about five different club sides. I like. I try to have a portfolio of them so when they lose a match, one loses a match, <laughs> I can still have my uh, blood pressure in place. Then I, then I take another one. So when you talk about defensive stocks, you're talking about those folks who are playing defense on the field of play. You need them. Yeah. Thank you. Now, if you look at those who are playing the front line, what do you call them in the forward and football? Which I'm not so much of a... Those who play the, the front... Uh, well, they, well, they are forwards or attackers. Yeah, the forwards. Yes, the attackers. Yes. So, uh, what, what stocks would you consider as the attackers in the market as we speak? Well, for me, for a lot of stocks, really, I think valuations are stretched. But for the banks, there are still some that I think that at current price level, there's a huge potential upside. So, for me, UBA is a toast at the moment. Access Bank is a toast at the moment. For me, GTB is a quality name. But at current price of 42, um, I don't want to touch it, except I'm looking at five years, seven years. But if I'm looking at three months, um, I wouldn't want GTB. But GTB is a stock that I think every investor wants to have in their portfolio. Hold it for, lo hold it, hold it for long. Hold it for long, yeah. Hold it for life. Uh, what closer was that? Something for life? I'm not sure. You're not sure. Okay. Uh, but let's continue the conversation after the break. And we're going to talk about one or two, uh, three earnings uh, that are uh, on the street. Stick around. Bola who is the head of investments at Kodros Capital. We'll be right back in two.